Hello Python programmers. So before starting this video, let me ask you one question. Whenever you think of a project or a problem that you want to solve using your Python program, what is the first thing that you do? You search for a package which can help you in that project or that task or you simply search for a package that can do something similar to that and then after finding that package what you usually do you search for the tutorials online on google or websites like udemy and youtube so the biggest problem of finding online tutorials is that the packages are very often updated like there is very often the change of version and it is very problematic when you see someone code or you copy someone code and they are using a different version of that package and you get an error i get a lot of such messages like like i was having this error and i have written the same code that you have written so i usually tell the people that please check the documentation of your used package because whenever the package is updated then they also update the documentation so it's really good to check out the tutorials online but if you get stuck somewhere because of the command that you are using then you have to check the documentation because this is the right way of solving the problem rather than just googling this so in this video i'm going to show you the simplest method of how to find documentation or anything related to python whether it's a predefined function like math function or this is a simple data type like list string or it is a external package like bygame kinter or any so in this video i'm gonna show you that only so you can open your command prompt here and you need to write just one command python m pydoc and press enter and there you can see that these are the possible ways by which you can get documentation of any possible python uh, whatever you can say uh, token because token is the fundamental unit of python so any token of python so first of all let's see by uh, by the name just say that i want to find all the possible operations that can be performed on a list now let me scroll this down a little bit uh, let's say I want to find out about list so I just write Python space dash M dash uh, space pydoc space list this is the name of our token here and let me press enter so there you can see that first of all it will give a small description of what a list is a corner class list or uh, whatever it is and there you can see that it can show you all the possible operations like reverse sort whatever it is okay okay so now let's see that how it's gonna show us uh, the possible operations on any external package so let's write the uh, speed in here so let me check this for like by game uh, let me press enter and there you can see a small description or uh, on what pygame is the packages which are present uh, in this external module there you can see all these packages and then the classes and it's a very detailed external package so there you can see it's a blah 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 and it's very long it's freaking long let me close this one and open a new okay 
okay now let's do this again uh, python it should be m here m pydoc and let me show you one simple python command by which you can get the detailed uh, description in a more visibly attractive way just do one thing pydoc and then write slash b here so what this will do is it will open up the browser and go to the local host and open up the web page in which you can see all the external packages and detail about every token so it's just opening up there you can see so these are the built-in packages there you can see if you click any of them let me click on the CSV one so there you can see the whole description of how the package works what are the possible operations that you can perform on this package and it's like the full detail if you go back then there you can see DLS and these other libraries and these these are the site packages and these are the libraries and you can see there are many things so this is something I want to show you in this video I create projects on my channel and some people are really confused because the version that I have used must have been changed or updated and the command used m must have changed so people just go to the documentation read that and make sure that you are writing the correct correct command according to your package so I just want to say this in this video and this is it for this video if you want to create some awesome projects check out my channel and I'll meet you there and okay I want to show you how to close this also just press Q and press enter and the server is closed okay so meet you there bye bye